this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I am here with the Seasons Prestige Cup car. This is an old milestone car. In fact, I made a video about this car from three years ago talking about how good it is for Tempest 3 Tier 4. So I'm going to give you guys an updated version of that breakdown because I think a lot of newer players that are playing now are probably looking for a Tempest 3 Tier 4 car, an option where they don't need to switch cars and it can hit all the targets without necessarily having to have all the Stage 6s. Nissan Fusions are not difficult to get if you want to spend some time and money buying the Nissan GTR from dealership, use some of the bronze keys in those uh, parts crates, and other ways to get this car built out and maxed out. Now, let's talk about Tempest. For the Tempest challenges, this car is quite good. Up until 640 performance points, you absolutely do not need any Stage 6s. What happens is, just by lowering certain parts, and the simple way to do that is here, Stage 4, Stage 3, you're at 625. Tune the car to basically wherever you want it to be, but there's a key item to notice for the difference between a sprint and speed trap for this particular car. And the only thing you need to know on that end is that for speed traps, you want to lower the grip. 5347 is usually a good spot, but if you're trying to run time and not mile per hour and better sprints, you're going to want a better tune somewhere around here for a better time. Now, if you just purely want to do sprints, the tune is different, 0, 100, and then put the fourth gear here to end at 100 and will give you some of the best 0 to 60 and 0 to 100s. Okay, 1.8, 2.9, which is well below anything you need to worry about at 625. So that is simply the tuning aspects of this particular car. It's kind of strange in that it has three or four spots where the tire needs to be um, well, three spots at least. One, two, and three. So optimal for speed trap, optimal for time, optimal for sprint. From a gear ratio standpoint, your optimal is going to be making sure this ends at whatever mile per hour you're trying to hit. And then the rest of it basically goes to having the right amount of nitrous and other things to get it done. So this is for 625, very easy. And then 630 is 210 miles per hour, 3.5, 4.5, 0 to 60, 0 to 100. You only need to run like a 15.2. So basically, the easiest way to accomplish that without a lot of fine tuning is just adding a little points by adding that stage of tire in. You cannot throw the stage of um, <coughs> transmission in because it'll push it beyond the uh, 630 point mark. But the next jump after that is 640, and now you can put transmission in without a problem. Now, assuming you have all that completed, let's go back and look at the tune again. Okay, we're at 630 and change. I actually didn't bother to put the tire in. I could still be below 640. Your challenges are not that bad. 230 mile per hour and 3.6, 4.5. The 0 to 60, 0 to 100s are still pretty easy. So <coughs> let's tweak it and get that 630, I mean 630, wow. 230 mile per hour basically going. Now you notice it says 226, but it can actually hit it. Okay, to hit the mile per hour, you have to understand it's only in the half mile, so it's not too bad. All you have to do is basically use nitrous near the end. So you go through your gears, four, five, okay, it gets kind of slow here, and you want to get the six and go ahead and hit that, and you'll get that 230 something, no problem. This also is why this car will ultimately hit 260 and 250 without too much issue. Now, jumping towards the end here to 658 performance point, because 640 was done with 634, you can throw the tire in. It wouldn't really push it beyond uh, 6, 
40 either. In fact, at 639, it'll make it a little bit easier for you to hit all the targets. But let's assume now that we're looking at 658. In order to hit 250 mile per hour, you want nitrous. Nitrous is going to be important for these speed traps. There's no way around that. Once you get beyond stage five and you want to get into stage sixes, nitrous combined with pretty much any stage six will hit 250. But if you want to hit 260, you're going to need more than just nitrous. You're going to need nitrous and possibly one of these, two of these guys somewhere and preferably not turbo and intake but let's go ahead and show you that intake and nitrous can hit 250 and then we'll talk about 260 and finally uh, the stage six that would best help you when it comes to the sprint okay so now we're looking at 245 with uh, nitrous and intake but again remember half mile for tempest speed traps not quarter like most events so 250 mile per hour again isn't that difficult with these two stage sixes being nitrous with the worst one can still pull it off then nitrous with any other can definitely do 250. So because now we have longer nitrous duration we can actually hit it a little bit earlier in fifth and then move over to six and let it ride it out. And there it is. Even with just two you're actually at 257 mile per hour and could potentially hit 260 um, or at least get close to it. Now, the thing is that 260 probably can be reached with nitrous and engine, um, two of the ones that help a lot with speed trap, but it's not a guarantee and certainly would be easier just to use three. Three stage six, we can use almost any three. Let's try it. Okay, so what I did is instead of adding in something better, I threw in turbo and intake now for, once again, uh, speed trap purposes. Remember, we hit 257 with nitrous and intake. Why can't we hit the 260 with... Um, the addition of turbo well we don't know it's worth a try but I'm not saying this is a good combo you're much better off with three of anything else other than turbo and intake but pretty much any three stage six should be able to do it so here we go okay so we're gonna move to six and then let it ride it out and boom done Turbo, intake, nitrous even can do 260. So any other three combo will definitely do 260 because most of them are faster on the speed trap than just these two. So there you go. There's your 260 mile per hour without having all that much stage sixes. Now let's take a look at that wonderful sprint for the 1.34 or 1.36, 0 to 60 that you're going to need. Before I change up anything, let me show you the stage six that'll do it by itself uh, for the 1.3s as far as running zero to 60 and that naturally is um, transmission because transmission generally helps a lot with this car's performance look at that jump and look at this one so it has a decent jump in performance but it seems to let you shift quick and therefore help you with getting a nice zero to 60. Okay, so tuning for <coughs> the car for sprint is different than tuning for speed trap, obviously. So 0 to 100, 2.0, and because we're doing 0 to 60, you don't care about where 100 ends, but you care about where 60 ends, and at 4.40, 60 ends in second gear. That gives us a theoretical time of 1.378 already, but you can actually beat that time and therefore blow through the final challenge for the sprint with this car with just one stage six of trans we'll try it again also with body and um, maybe even at 
<coughs> even one of the uh, other ones. But generally speaking, if you had the stage sixes to get 260 mile per hour, you're probably okay to get the sprint. Okay, all you have to do is literally let first gear hook second and nitrous, and let it end in second, and you'll get basically the result you want for the sprint, which is going to have to be below 1.36 or 1.34. Depending on the opponent you get, you can get as low as 1.317. Um, but this is an easy way to get that 0 to 60. Now, keeping it the tune where it is, it's easy to just test some of the other stage 6s to see if they're similar in performance. But generally, you know, trans is the strong one for something like a sprint versus, say, nitrous, which may not be as helpful in this particular situation. So trans by itself, uh, let's try, well, let's not try tire. Let's try body. Body's generally a good one as well for sprints. Uh, body's not going to be as helpful in speed trap as, say, uh, nitrous, but it does gain a decent mile per hour. So body's obviously a good stage six to have as well. Okay, 13.1, 1.415, same exact setup. But again, if you play your cards right, you can always beat whatever the dyno says by a little bit. And it might be enough to EQ through just on body. But because we know we're going to need two or three stage sixes to get through 260 mile per hour, chances are you're not going to be doing this particular sprint with one stage six. Okay. Okay, so I think I might have let first gear run too long on that one. I should have probably go instant second and nitrous. Let me let me see if we can improve on that one. Okay, still a three seven three, uh, but probably improvable with not letting first gear run as long, um, or even nitrous in first and then immediately second. Let's see. There are different ways to try to push that little extra, but it's there if you want to try it. Okay, so let's go, two, one. Okay, this one I basically hit nitrous in first, but caught it before it hit red line, and then let it ride through second on nitrous. Let's see if this is any better. All right, now it's not, okay. So that's basically your stage six <coughs> needed for 260 mile per hour in the sprint. So that kind of breaks down this car. You don't need all stage sixes to get through Tempest with this car. You're going to want Nitrous for sure. You're going to probably want Trans for sure. Um, and then any combination of another one of these should help you uh, to some degree to getting through. And finally, if you have, let's say, these three, okay, and that's all you got, um, you know you can get through 260. You know that you have to beat like a 12.4 time. Um, so you're going to have to check, make sure that your time is good enough. But uh, this car is quick enough that once tuned with uh, stage 6 um, uh, pure performance setups for something like this, beating that time should be no issue. Beating the sprint uh, is going to be the issue here with these stage sixes, as you can see, nitrous, extra nitrous doesn't really help when it comes to sprinting. You have a 1.465. So you're going to want that other stage sixes to actually get through on the sprint as well as the speed trap. So top two that you need, nitrous and transmission, body, um, engine are all helpful. Now, if you're stuck with just these three without nitrous, it's going to be tougher. Um, for example, without nitrous, Let's say if we were to uh, do it based on other stage sixes for 260 mile per hour, you're going to probably want three or four of the top ones, you know, to make it through. It's a lot tougher for speed trap when your nitrous duration is very short. I'm just going to go through that briefly because the video is getting kind of long. But if you watch this far, you're probably interested in knowing every variation possible. So therefore, we're going to give you every variation possible. Okay, so we're going to do 53. And then put this up to here. And 256. So mile per hour won't be an issue. 
Um, sprint is still going to be possible. Let's take a look if sprint is good. Okay, this is no nitrous, um, three stage six. Yeah, no problem there. So if you get the top stage sixes, but you miss nitrous, you're still fine. Um, so body, trans, engine will get you right on through uh, the challenges as well. So that's really it for the uh, Nismo GTR in attack. One of the better tier fours for Tempest. Uh, one that I always uh, push down people to use. And now I'm giving you again the video on how to use it properly for Tempest. If you're a newer player, this season it is a prestige cup car. Therefore, it's possible to get this car from Silver Keys. Uh, you should get it. Okay, right here from Silver Keys. And then, remember, under parts, you can get Stage 6s pretty quickly if you have enough Bronze Keys. And also, you can also get some Stage 6s from the event, uh, the Crew Milestones, I mean, not the Crew Trials, uh, as well as uh, if you want to pull extra cars, if you have enough Silver Keys. They're all methods to get more Stage 6s for this car. But uh, Fusions, you can just buy from the dealership uh, buy the regular Nissan GTR and strip them and you get the Nissan Fusions. All right, I hope you liked the video. I know it got a little long-winded near the end, but uh, generally I like to give you all the info rather than just giving you bits and pieces. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and would like videos like this uh, in the future, subscribe, hit the bell, and you get notifications when I put up new videos like this. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.